Yeah, I want to uh, explain to you my approach to chronic fatigue. I was uh, first educated as a ND, natural medicine, uh, we call it Heilpraktika in Germany. It's the same as natural path in the United States. And after that studied um, medical uh, science and became a general practitioner for many years. So I'm trained in both sides and I am now mostly working in a private clinic uh, doing mostly alternative medicine. So patients come to me with a lot of long histories having done uh, several consultations to different practitioners and want to know from me um, a final solution to their health problems. And many people come also with chronic fatigue and I will uh, give you a short introduction to my approach. So the typical patient I would think is right in my clinic is somebody who has no objective findings. So I'm emphasizing the importance of co uh, conventional medicine. It's foolish to get into a competition, so I think what we as, as, as alternative medicine doctors do is uh, helping people who fall outside the normal borders. So nobody can find anything and there's a lot of these people uh, with long frustrating di diagnostic and therapeutic odyssey. My uh, speakers which came before me uh, have addressed some of these. And when you take the anamnesis, the history of these patients, you will find that they have tried nearly everything they have made acupuncture and hypnosis and whatever. And they have had maybe a, lo a short improvement, but not final solutions to their problems. And generally, all patients coming to me have certain expectations. I think it's important to know them. They are sometimes not properly addressed, but in my clinic I have found it helpful to know them. Uh, people want to feel well and vital again. They want to learn certain complaints and symptoms. They want also to know hidden causes of their illnesses. For instance, cancer patients want to do something extra and have the feeling that something is causing or um, producing their, their uh, cancer disease, for instance. And also the preventive approach, people want to stay healthy on long term. So all these wishes of my patients, I, can, I think I can uh, achieve with an approach I will tell you afterwards. Here is again the problem. It's an endless loop of losing energy. People feel exhausted. They have then chronic infections, autonomic dysfunctions. Many of my patients have pain. They uh, have adrenal problems, social problems, emotional problems because they cannot uh, uh, function properly in their social system, they have less energy and then the whole system is starting again. So it's an endless loop and my duty is to find the causes behind this loop. So, so something is uh, starting the whole thing and the question, the good question is what is causing these this loop. My findings usually show that two or three combined causes are behind these issues, these diseases. And they are 
uh, either undetectable by ordinary means or they are misregarded in their potential. This is what I have found in many cases. And because when I heal these causes, the patient is healed. So I can say this seems to be real, a real cause in a logic term. When I check my patients, this is, for instance, a typical diagnostic finding I found. I, f I find a big emotional issue, for instance, swallowed aggression, uh, then a chronic sinusitis, which is also often a major cause in chronic fatigue in my long clinical experience, and also geopathic stress. I know I'm, I'm conscious that this is not uh, well known in the United States. It is mostly regarded as shamanistic or esoteric or whatever. But if you look at these things, it is a very old uh, knowledge of mankind. And uh, when you look at all these people finding copper and uh, jewelry and whatever in the ground, in the past, they did it with douses. So this, is what, this was not mere uh, good luck that they were digging and finding these things, but they had certain people knowing how to do these things. And they also knew that geopathic stress is an important uh, issue in uh, staying healthy. For instance, one of the eldest laws in China was that the Chinese emperor uh, was making the law not to live where bad demons, earth demons live. So the birth, bad earth demons were those making people ill. So this was a knowledge already known at these times. At that time, the architects were more clever than today. They flocked a herd of sheep and looking where they slept during the night and there they built the house. Now, nowadays, architects build the house wherever it is suitable. And the treatment for these issues in my clinic is, for instance, swallowed aggressions. I use certain homeopathic complex remedies which have ingredients uh, resonating with fear or uh, with, with uh, getting angry and so on, fury. So by resonance, these emotional is issues vanish after some time. Chronic sinusitis, I found out, is often healed by application of lufa. Lufa is a South American plant found by the Indians. And if you use these etheric oils, you must prepare them freshly. It is often very beneficial for these chronic symptoms. Even if uh, in patients who have uh, yeah, a constant history of ear, nose, throat doctor visits. Geopathic stress can only be healed, in my opinion, by changing the bad to a good place. Shielding is not effective on long term. You can use it for a certain period of time, but on long term you have to find a good bad. And the duration of treatment, the emotional issue usually is the longest um, problem to be solved, it takes usually in my patients five to ten months to treat that. So patients have to take certain complex remedies for this time. The chronic sinusitis is usually healed in four weeks with this Lufa plant. Geopathic stress is very fast, it takes usually three, four weeks, then it's okay.